है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर राजेश्वर फ्रॉम वाई आर फार्मा ट्यू इन टूडेज वीडियो आई टेल यू अबाउट द डेफिनेशन एंड स्कोप ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस एंड द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स ऑफ एनालिसिस फ्रॉम दिस लेसन यू विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस टू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स एनालिसिस एंड एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री द थर्ड इसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री नेक्स्ट टू सिंथेसिस एंड थियोरी द स्कोप ऑफ एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री वेयर वी डिस्टिंगश एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द अदर साइंटिफिक एंड टेक्निकल एरियाज एंड लास्टली आई स्टेट द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स ऑफ एनालिसिस सच एज अ क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस क्वांटिटेटिव एनालिसिस ग्रेविमेट्रिक एनालिसिस वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस स्पॉट एनालिसिस एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एनालिसिस इंट्रोडक्शन टू फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री इज एज ओल्ड एज केमिस्ट्री इट सेल्फ The construction of chemical balance provided a quantitative aspect to chemical analysis. With this development, the study of analytical chemistry stimulated quantitative approach to various problems of chemistry. Chemical reactions were studied on the basis of qualitative and also quantitative changes that occurred. This resulted in the discovery of several new compounds and the five laws of chemical combination that is law of conservation of mass, law of definite proportions, law of multiple proportions, Gay-Lussac's law of gaseous volumes and Avogadro's law. The term analysis is commonly employed for the process of breaking up or separation of a compound or a mixture into its constituents. It can involve both physical and chemical processes. If the analysis involves chemical processes, it is called chemical analysis or more broadly analytical chemistry. The sodium in the peanut butter, the nitrate in the water and the ozone in the air are the substances that are the objects of analysis. Such a substance or object is known as analyte and the material in which the analyte is found is called the matrix of the analyte. Another word often used is assay. An assay is a process of analyzing a substance to determine its composition or quality. For example, if an analysis is being carried out to determine the percentage of aspirin is called an assay of aspirin. In contrast, an analysis of the aspirin would imply the determination of the other minor ingredients which may be impurities as well as the aspirin itself. Definition of a pharmaceutical analysis. Pharmaceutical analysis is traditionally defined as analytical chemistry dealing with the drugs both as bulk drug substances and as pharmaceutical products that is pharmaceutical formulations it is a branch of practical chemistry that involves a series of processes for identification determination quantification and purification of a substance separation of the components of a solution or mixture or determination of a structure of chemical compounds scope of pharmaceutical analysis Analytical chemistry is what analytical chemists do. Chemicals make up everything we use or consume and knowledge of the chemical composition of many substances is important in our daily lives. In many respects, analytical chemistry acts as a foundation for other branches of chemistry, for example, agricultural, clinical, environmental, forensic, manufacturing, metallurgical and pharmaceutical industry. In agriculture analytical chemistry provides the means to generate essential technical data on soil water plant and animal material in medicine analytical chemistry is the basis for clinical laboratory tests which help physicians diagnose disease and chart progress in recovery in pharmaceutical industry Analytical chemistry provides the means of testing raw materials and for assuring the quality of finished products whose chemical composition is critical. Many household products, fuels, paints, pharmaceuticals, etc. are analyzed by the procedures developed by analytical chemists before being sold to the consumer. In food industry, the nutritional value of a food is determined by chemical analysis for major components such as protein and carbohydrates and trace components such as vitamins and minerals. Indeed, even the calories of a food are often calculated from its chemical analysis. In cosmetics industry, preparation of cosmetics such as lipsticks, creams, nail paints, lotions, shampoos, 
and air conditioners etc play with two things as color and odor these coloring agents and fragrances are built by different chemical ingredients so the quality and quantity of these ingredients should be known and can be analyzed by different techniques and lastly environmental quality is often evaluated by testing for suspected contaminant using the techniques of analytical chemistry for example ph of rain river and water resources different environmental factors like temperature humidity etc various organic and inorganic compounds and elements present in the soil can be analyzed by different techniques different techniques of analysis Based upon the determination type, there are mainly two types of analytical methods. They are qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis. Qualitative analysis tells us what chemicals are present in an unknown sample and quantitative analysis tells us how much quantity is present in the unknown sample. Quantitative analysis is further divided into gravimetric and volumetric analysis. Qualitative analysis Qualitative analysis is simply identification. A qualitative analysis determines the presence or absence of a particular compound but not the mass concentration. By definition, they do not measure quantity. In other words, it is the determination of the chemical composition of a sample in which an atom, ion, functional group or compound is present or absent but it does not provide information about its quantity. It gives the non-numerical information about a chemical species, a reaction, etc. Stated another way, it is an analysis carried out to determine only the identity of a pure analyte, the identity of an analyte in a matrix, or the identity of several or all components of a mixture. If a chemical analysis is carried out and it is reported that there is mercury present in the water in a lake and the quantity of the mercury is not reported, then the analysis is a qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis may be carried out on different scales like macro, semi-micro, micro and ultra-micro. In macro analysis, 0.1 to 1 gram of the substance is used and volume of the solution is generally between 10 to 20 ml. In semi-micro analysis, 0.01 to 0.1 gram of the solid substance or 1 ml of the solution is employed. In micro analysis, less than 0.1 gram of the substance is used. Ultra micro analysis involves samples containing less than 0.001 gram of material. Some technicians use the term sub micro analysis also. There is no striking difference in micro and semi micro analysis. It lies only in the relative quantity of the substance employed for analysis. For micro analysis, special type of apparatus and techniques have been developed. In macro analysis, large samples are taken which often result in tedious and time consuming operations. Micro, semi-micro and ultra-micro analysis are much faster and special techniques must be learnt before they can be successfully employed. The limits employed above are not to be considered rigid but only approximate. Spot Analysis Recently, spot analysis has been devised to afford the greatest possible economy of material, time, space and labor. A spot test discovered by Fiegel is a test carried out on a spot plate or on a filter paper in which a drop of chemical reagent is added to the drop of an unknown mixture. The reagents produce extremely pronounced colors. They are a presumptive illicit drug information technique commonly used by law enforcement, border security personnel and forensic laboratories. The simplicity, low cost and rapid results afforded by these tests make them particularly attractive for presumptive identification globally. These spot tests have two distinct disadvantages. Number one, many spot tests do not give clear conclusive results. And number two, many spot tests employ the use of costly organic reagents that involve complex organic reactions. Quantitative analysis. It is the analysis of a material for how much of one or more components is present. In other words, it is the measurement of the quantities of particular chemical components present in a substance. Such an analysis is undertaken when the identity of the components is already known and when it is important to also know the quantities of these components. 
these tests produce numbers in their results. Thus, it is the determination of the quantities of one or more components present per some quantity of the matrix. For example, the analysis of the soil in your garden that reports the potassium level as 342 parts per million would be classified as a quantitative analysis. Quantitative chemical analysis started with the application of techniques of gravimetric analysis. In a gravimetric determination, a known volume of sample solution is treated with an excess of a suitable reagent which quantitatively precipitates the desired constituent present in the sample solution. It is weighed before and after its transformation. A common example is the determination of the amount of water in a hydrate by heating the sample to remove the water such that the difference in weight is due to the loss of water. Volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis is also called as a titrimetric analysis. A titration is a well-established procedure and used extensively for a variety of analytes. The analysis is based on the quantitative reaction of the analyte with the reagent called titrant. The titrant is added typically with a burette to the known volume of the analyte. The equivalence point or neutralization point is reached when the amount of titrant is chemically equivalent to the amount of analyte. This equivalence point is determined visually by observing the change in the color of the added indicator or instrumentally. The change in the indicator color represents the end point or completion of the titration for the analyte of interest. For example, an acid-based titration involving a color changing indicator. There are many other types of titrations, for example, potentiometric titrations, where different types of indicators are used to reach some equivalence point. Separation techniques are those techniques that can be used to separate two different states of matter such as liquid and solid. Such separation techniques include filtration or evaporation. Filtration separates solids of different sizes. Evaporation removes a liquid from a solution to leave a solid material. Distillation takes advantage of differences in boiling points. And chromatography involves solvent separation on a solid medium. Wet chemical analysis. It is called wet chemistry since most analyzing is done in the liquid phase. It uses the procedure to decompose a sample with a reagent such as acids to dissolve in a solvent and identifies and quantifies the targeted elements using various measurement methods. Separation and isolation of the sample is performed if needed. It utilizes the stoichiometric method such as the gravimetric method and the volumetric method ensuring the precise and accurate chemical analysis of the sample. Wet chemical analysis techniques are classical techniques meaning that they have been used in analytical laboratory for many years before electronic devices came on the scene. These techniques can be used in qualitative chemical measurements such as changes in color that is calorimetry but often involves more quantitative chemical measurements using a method such as gravimetry and titrimetry. Some uses for wet chemistry includes tests for pH, concentration, conductivity, melting point, salinity, specific gravity, density, turbidity, viscosity and moisture. It can also involve the elemental analysis of samples for example, water sources for items like ammonia nitrogen, chloride, cyanide, fluoride, nitrogen, phosphate, phosphorus, etc. Instrumental analysis. It can also involve chemical reactions but always involve modern sophisticated electronic instrumentation. These techniques are high technology techniques often utilizing the ultimate in complex software and hardware. Examples of analytical instruments include mass spectrometers, chromatographs such as gas chromatography and high performance liquid chromatography, titrators, spectrometers, particle size analyzers, rheometers, elemental analyzers, thermal analyzers and many more. These methods are fast and can offer a much greater scope and practicality to the analysis. In addition, these methods are generally used to determine the minor constituents or constituents that are present in low levels rather than the major constituents of a sample. Different techniques of analysis along with their principle and the nature of analysis are summarized in this table. Notice that the technique used is either qualitative or quantitative or both. 
This table illustrates the comparison of uh, different analytical methods. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this lesson, the definition and scope and different techniques of analysis. In the next video, we will discuss the methods of expressing concentration. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. If you like the video, please consider to subscribe the channel, write your comments, click on the bell icon to follow my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video.